Hey guys, it's Jay. Before I get too far into this video, I just want to say that um, for the clips that I used in my montage, I realized I was using Xbox Game Bar, not actually the video replay. So all my clips were low quality, 30 FPS, which really sucks, honestly. But I really love that montage. I've already watched it like 50 times. If you haven't watched it, go check that out after this video. But anyways, let me get into the story that I have to tell. So this one's like a little bit more interesting. So our school did this thing called Snowboard Club. So essentially what Snowboard Club was, was a little club that our school set up. And we would throw our stuff into like a little, a little trailer. And they would bring us to Ski Resort. And we would stay there for around six hours and then we'd head back to the school and get picked up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I signed up for Snowboard Club because my friends were doing it, and I'm like, that sounds really fun. I've never been snowboarding at an actual place before. Scam. Alright. So, this is my first time ever going down an actual hill. So, I thought it would be fun to try. But, I didn't really have the gear. I just had this probably like $20, $15 walmart snowboard that i got from my uncle that's really all i had <laughs> they had no idea oh. so first day i just really wanted to see just really wanted to try stuff out didn't really need much so i shoved my walmart gear into the van no i shoved my walmart gear into the trailer and we head over the whole time there i was just talking to my friend and i was kind of nervous honestly because I really didn't know what I was doing didn't know anything about snowboarding but you know just like I would just wing it and hope that things would work out <laughs> did you see that hacker <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was amazing. <laughs> Alright, so anyways. Once we got there, I just see everyone unpacking, grabbing their stuff. And and they had like giant bags and stuff. And I just have my little snowboard and like a tiny bag that I had to bring. I started worrying when we started to unpack our stuff and put the gear on. You see the skiers put on their special boots and I'm like... Do I need those? Like, I heard in this one snowboarding video that boots are the most important thing about snowboarding. I'm like, oh dang. Alright, so I walk outside into the snow, and I'm starting to have, like, second thoughts on my gear and stuff. I really don't know what I'm doing. Friend, my friends are waiting for me out there. In my snowboard, they just see my snowboard, and it has, it's not even flat on the bottom. Like, it's... It has like these bumps on it. So first stop is the bunny hill. So I plop myself onto the bunny hill. There's like these ropes that pull you up. And that's really new to me. Where is this kid? What? Oh my lord. So it just seems like you have to grab onto the ropes and it'll pull you up. But little did I know, it pulls up so hard. So eventually I make my way up to the, the bunny hill after falling like five times. Really embarrassing. So after I reach the top, I go over and try to make my way down. My friends are watching me to cheer me on. And this snowboard, this snowboard is so slow. Oh my goodness. It went down so slow, I mean, I still was moving, like, decent, but like, compared to everyone else, I was moving so slow. I do not know if I have enough blocks. Scam!
gonna die. Oh, he's so close. So I'm feeling good about myself. I'm going down this bunny hill, which is actually <laughs> it's for beginners, but I'm feeling good about myself. And I try to turn. Yeah, so I try to turn. It's not doing anything, and I just plop right on my butt. Am I even allowed to say that? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently your snowboard needs like these metal rings around them on the edges. And that helps carve into the helps carve into the snow and make it turn and carve potentially essentially. And my snowboard did not have those. It was just plastic all around. Everything was plastic. Oh my goodness, Dave Bobby. So I'm sitting here struggling to turn. Eventually I figured it out. It's just I couldn't get it perfect because it was a trash snowboard, honestly. There's nothing else I could do I could have done. But that's not where it gets exciting. So I go down one of the trails with my friend because I'm a uh, fish taker kinda. Well uh. So I got on this trail and the trail is actually pretty nice. I was able to turn on every single on every single turn at least. But here's a little problem I had. When I started going down the straightways, the straightways, I would go super slow, and then I wouldn't be able to make it all the way. So then my friend like pushed me kinda. But then when it got steep, I didn't know how to stop. <laughs> so that was kind of a problem. I'm going down this trail at supersonic speeds, and I don't know how to stop. So the only way I could think I could stop was just falling and doing like a dive roll thing. So once I get near the end, I just plop my way onto the ground, and it, actually it works out kind of well. I didn't fall that hard, I just rolled a couple yards, and I was perfectly fine. And by that time, uh, this was last winter, so by that time I've already learned how to stay chill in stressful, uh, stressful events. So I'm just going down super fast. I'm just perfectly chill. And chaining with parkour and tricking has helped a lot too. So I didn't get injured. But that's not the end of the story. So I follow up my friends up one of these ski lifts. And the only way down is either from a really flat pathway. Or I have to go through a black diamond. And honestly my only choice it's going through the black diamond because I couldn't even move another one so my friends noticed that too so they're just all panicking and just saying I should just walk down but I'm like nah mate I'm gonna go down this black diamond cuz I'm cool so the first uh, so this black diamond is actually pretty short it's just a really steep hill that has a little flat way in between so the first half the first steep part I was curving I was like carving kinda but then after a little bit I started losing control so because I was kind of panicking right there not really like full-on panicking but like I don't know what to do kind of I decided to just bomb down the hill <laughs> not the smartest move so I'm just bombing down this hill, and everyone's watching. Everyone on the bunny hill, everyone on the next hill. And I'm going so fast, like I did faster than, when I, than I was on the trails. So I'm getting near the end, and my friends are chasing after me. They don't know what to do. They, they're the one, they're the, my friends are the ones that are panicking, not me. I'm the one that's just bombing the hill at full speed, just chilling. My friends don't know what to do. They feel like they should stop me, but... I just win, and I get to the bottom, there's a fence, I do not want to run into that fence. So I try to do the sideways turn stop, and that doesn't really work for me, because I do not have the middle edges to do so. So when I try to stop, I just full on almost face plant onto the ground. My helmet almost got in the way, so I actually go past the face plant and roll onto my back, which... Because I rolled down so fast that my legs slam onto the ground. And I did like around three to four somersaults. It'd be kind of cool if 
snowboards had a release mechanism so when you fall really hard your leg doesn't break <laughs> but surprisingly enough i didn't even get hurt from that not even a little pain i just got up and walked away <laughs> all my friends are so surprised it was amazing so essentially that was the highlight of my day one of ski club i went ahead and bought another a snowboard for the other nine that i paid for those ski trips were a lot better honestly they were so fun i'll maybe talk about them in some other videos if you guys like this video yeah if you like if you guys like this video and you want more about the other nine ski trips make sure to leave like comment and subscribe so you guys will be able to listen to those too i'm honestly really glad that i did that because that was so much fun bombing that hill i don't know why but fear is kind of fun to mess around with <laughs> when i woke up the next day i was kind of sore but it's not like something that i'd regret but i did miss out on one day to learn to snowboard if i actually bought a snowboard so if i actually so if i actually bought a snowboard i would have had more time to learn how to snowboard but i did learn pretty fast um, by like the third day i was doing really well so I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys want to hear more of these snowboard videos or any other videos, make sure to subscribe and comment below. Like this video so other people can listen to this story. And have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>